Fish. Fish on, y'all. Fish on. I think we got our first monster of the day. Yup, we sure do. Come here, Betty. Nice bass, too. Got him. There we are. That feels good, y'all. That feels like a good snake. That feels like a good snake, y'all. Still got him. Bigger than my first. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Cambo Trout Fishing. So in today's video, we're going to continue our strong tradition of February snakehead. If you missed my previous videos like these, how to catch snakehead in winter, thick snakehead in February, and the Eastern Shore Slam, well, <laughs> I'll leave links to all those above. But in today's video, what I am we passing on to you are some solid tips for those very early season snakehead. Some absolutely gorgeous water, excellent fish and some lessons learned that'll hopefully save you from missing as many fish as I did this day. One quick note, at this point I was probably about a week or a little less into battling flu bee. I'm still battling flu bee now. I've had it for about three weeks. I think I've edited out most of the coughing for you. <coughs> but good God, <coughs> it is terrible. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get to today's video. If you enjoy it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And let's go fishing. All right, folks, here we are. Trying for a little bit of a redemption trip today. Redemption in that I was here not too long ago. Caught some incredible crappie. One that was about 16, 16 and a half inches and just thick, I mean thick, massive fish. Other citations. And then I got home and figured out my GoPro was jacked up, wasn't working. Got virtually none of it on video. So hopefully today we got a shot at getting them on camera for you. We got a decent shot. I mean, we let them all go last time, you know, because ideally, if you think you care about the fish population, those big breeders, you want to let go. But you know. <laughs> it's a fine line between caring about the fish population and caring about your own access to it. The wind is blowing more than I would like. We're just gonna have to accept that fact and kind of move on and see what we can do out here. The water temperature right now is right at the 50 degree mark. We still got a little bit of warming to go. Snakehead are definitely in the mix today. So let's see what we can do. We'll get this day started, see what we can pull off, and we'll go from there. I either just had a minnow go crazy pulling this down, which I doubt, it's not a big minnow. Or I had a hit. Fish. Fish on, y'all. Fish on. Feels decent. Feels decent. Oh, I think it's a monster crappy, y'all. I think we got our first monster of the day. Yup, we sure do. We sure do. No, get out around that rod. Get out around that rod, monster. Oh, yeah. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Oh, come here. Come here, look at that, will ya? <laughs> That's how you start a day. Here. There we are. Now that we're anchored, I can go ahead and handle this monster. And that is on a little kind of Blakemore Roadrunner type jig with a little tip with a minnow. And I'm just kind of doing these short, sharp pops. She'll come in at 13 and 3 quarter. You know, she is just barely under citation. What a beauty. God, what a beauty. All right. We got a fish. First fish in a long time. Feels good. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say a big crappy. If I had to guess, see that or a bass. Feels kind of bass-like. Yeah, my money's on bass. Come here, Bassy. Come here, Bassy. Nice bass, too. That's a good sized bass. Come on. Yes, I got you. There you are. There's a fish. <laughs> Tell you what, it's been few and far between today, y'all. I mean, few and far between. Mostly because it's wind. Um. My float down? Yeah, another fish on. Another fish on, y'all. I still haven't got the bass all, all the way released yet. What do we have here? Oh, there's a monster. That is a beast. That is beast crappy number two, y'all. 
Look at that slab. Look at the shoulders on her. Hold on, hold on, Bass. Hold on. Hold on. I know. Look at that, will you? <laughs> oh, that's a thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. Thank you. Go ahead, Bassie. There you go. Come on, get down there. Yeah, I'd guess and say 13. The one I got earlier was 13 and three quarter. And this one's gonna go 13 and a half. All right, say goodbye to that beautiful slab. All right, gorgeous. Go on, get. Yeah, she's off. So I picked up that large mouth and that crappy in just about the same area, right off this point. And I had been seeing a couple boils out here. And I was wondering if that was feeding behavior or just carp rolling or what. And now that I've picked up two fish out here, I'm leaning towards feeding behavior. So I'm gonna try and slowly kind of drift through this area, see if I can't pick up any more. You know, I always had a snakehead go for it and short strike. Short strike big time. I mean, he missed it by a mile. I just felt the slightest little bit of something on the line. The only reason I knew it was a snakehead hit is it was about 15 feet off my kayak and I saw the bubbles come up. It ain't over. It ain't over. Now while the MEPS could pull that short strike, I had to go back to one that's always served me very well in the past. Oh. Oh. That might have been two hits. What a mess. It was a hit, but whatever it was, let it go. Fucking heck. There he is. There's a fish. There we go. Oh, it's a snakehead, y'all. It's a snake. Oh, don't get off. Don't you dare get off. Don't you dare get off. Oh, we could have a buzzer beater. I think we got a buzzer beater. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> the buzzer beater. Yes. <laughs> heck yeah. Oh, I thought for sure I was going home today without a snakehead, y'all. I thought for sure I was. Oh, right, I'm gonna turn around so you can get a better look at this because daylight is disappearing quickly. Oh my God. <laughs> and she's off the hook, just like that. Even in February, they are escape artists. <coughs> As you can probably hear in my voice, I'm a little under the weather and have been for a while. But man, does this ever change the tenor of my day? I say, by and large, these fish have beat my butt today. I mean, I have not been fishing well. <laughs> and like, yeah, part of that, I could chalk up to being sick or whatever, but a big part of it is just the way I've been fishing. My setup isn't quite what it should be. I haven't been paying attention to detail. I haven't been, you know, keeping my eye on things like I should. And I think a big part of that was me hitting that lag in action from that first big slab crappy I called almost when I first got here to right now. There was probably a three to four hour stretch in there where I didn't catch anything. I mean anything. Let me go ahead and hook this up and I'll show you all this fish and stop yakking at you. But man, God bless America. Ooh. I need to get back up there too, y'all. There's some stuff going down. Admire your spirit, but I'm pretty sure I got you, dude. There she is. <laughs> Not a big fish, probably about 21, 22. We got our first snakehead of the year, though. Thank you, gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Now I was trailing minnow lines behind me pretty much all day, but good God was I missing these fish. 
later in the video, I'll tell you why I think my hookup ratio was just abysmal on these trailing minnow lines. Fish on. What do we have? Hey, another crappy. Another crappy. Now this is honestly a respectable size crappy, probably about 11 inches or so. And you can see how thick she is. But I'm telling you, in this fishery, <laughs> In this fishery, this is a small one. Oof. I gotta go up there. Thank you, beautiful. Yeah, man, these fish waited till the very last part of the day to start biting, which in a way doesn't surprise me because that's when the wind died down, when the water had its most amount of time to warm up. But right straight ahead of me, there's been some big fish annihilating some kind of bait fish. I'm trying to find it now. If I hook it, it's gonna be a serious fight from the looks of it, not a small fish. As far as my setup goes, as inconvenient as it is for casting, if I'm gonna trail a minnow, I feel like it either has to be done on a circle hook or it has to be done where I can see my rig. Because I mean, I've gotten probably, I'd estimate and say 10 or 12 hits on my minnow trailing rig. But of those hits, I think I've only landed three fish and that's because I'm getting hits and I'm just not seeing them and I think a lot of it was crappy and perch but I mean you know, it's, it's next to impossible to say honestly without being able to see it when it's a circle hook it's not a big deal they'll oftentimes hook themselves but when it's a jig head you normally gotta do the work and if you don't notice it till it's too late they'll let go they'll feel that little bit of poke in their mouth and that's it they're letting go and I've gotten two strikes today from snakehead one was extremely short. I had zero chance of hooking it. That came on the MEPS, number five. Oh, I think I got one. I think I got one. I think I got a fish. Yep, that's a fish, y'all. That's a fish. Feels like a crappy. Feels like a crappy. Oh, he has jacked me up. He completely hooked up both my rigs. Crappy, right? Yep. <laughs> That's another good size crappy, man. There she is. I don't know how many crappy I've missed today, but it's a lot, dude. It is a lot. And that's like a 12 inch crappy. And that's like a small crappy for in here. <laughs> I love this river. Ooh, short strike. Short strike. Splash off behind me. Got him. There we are. That feels good, y'all. That feels like a good snake. That feels like a good snake, y'all. Heck yeah. Still got him. Still got him. Bigger than my first. Well, bigger than my first. Heck yeah. That's a good one, though. Yes. But yeah. Oh. Now, my head mount died at this point right here, y'all. So I'm not going to torture you with the <laughs> sounds of the fish and everything else hitting the boat here with the 360 audio. Just blow out your eardrums. But that last fish of the day, God, it capped it off great. He was about 26, 27 inch fish, thick. But I mean, the day started great. Almost as soon as I started fishing, I got that first slab crappy, even in the wind. But man, it was like a three hour period. I didn't catch anything until these two fish right here. Best producers for the day for the crappy was definitely anything tipped with minnows. But what really seemed to draw in the snakehead, although I did get a short strike or two on the MEPS, was that Z-Man Bull's eye spinner bait. My belief on that is because it has such great vibration and I can slow roll the crap out of it. But hey folks, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And have a good one.